One of Santa Anita Park's signature stakes races since the opening season is the San Juan Capistrano. The San Juan has emerged as the true test of turf stayers and is synonymous with such names as Charlie Whittingham, the great John Henry, Johnny Longdon, and Bill Shoemaker. Let's take a look back now at the history of America's longest graded stakes race. The early years of the San Juan were noticeably different than today, with the race originally contested on the main track at a mile and an eighth. In 1940, the San Juan was even restricted to three-year-olds at a mile and a sixteenth. Long before his victory in the 1940 Big Cap, Seabiscuit, in his first season at Santa Anita, won the 1937 San Juan Capistrano. Owner Charles Howard and trainer Tom Smith also captured the 1940 and 41 San Juans with Meeland. In 1950, owner Charles Howard sent eventual handicap champion Knorr postward in the San Juan Capistrano. Here, Knorr and Citation continued their rivalry. This time, Citation gave Knorr 13 pounds and Knorr prevailed again by a nose in a world record time of 252 and four. Three years later, Santa Anita underwent a major renovation, including the addition of the Camino Real turf course. And this is Santa Anita, grass course racing in the true European style. Santa Anita introduced turf racing to California in 1954 and did so with nearly six furlongs of the mile and three quarters course, rolling down a hillside, rising high above the conventional main oval. 1954 was the first year that the San Juan was contested on the turf. The distance was a mile and a half that year. In 1955, today's San Juan course of a mile and three quarters on the turf was established. Olden Times, owned by Rex Ellsworth and trained by Mesh Tenney, stole the 1962 running of the San Juan under a masterful ride by Bill Shoemaker. The reformed sprinter had won the longest graded race in North America in what Shoemaker considered perhaps his best ride. In 1966, one of the most dramatic moments in sports unfolded at Santa Anita Park. The legendary Johnny Longdon was retiring after one final ride in the San Juan Capistrano. In the middle of the track, Hill races boss. It's Black and George Royal. George Royal, Black and Tom Cat. It's his Black and George Royal, Tom Cat. They go down the line of finish now with them. George Royal winning in a note. And that's how Johnny Longdon ended nearly 40 years of race riding. It was a great, great day at Santa Anita Park. As Beckwith put it, it was the end of one of the most fabulous riding careers in American history, and no script ever written could have provided such a dramatic finale as this one. The Argentine-bred Niarcos took the San Juan in 1967 and 68 for the Hasty House Farm. Racing room, they asked Niarcos in front, and now really comes to the outside, it's Jed Niarcos. And uh, Brook and Green, the Arcos are now coming clear, and on the outside river, just the Arcos. They go down the line of heading now, and the Arcos winning, and on the inside, and jumping in. The Arcos and jockey Alvaro Pineda are congratulated by Johnny Adams. He celebrated his second straight Capistrano victory as a trainer after having won it twice as a jockey back in the 1940s. Also from South America, the Chilean-bred Cougar II found his home on the turf for owner Mary Jones in the 1971 San Juan. The handsome Whittingham trainee went on to an Eclipse Award in 1972. John Henry holds on to that lead. In 1980, John Henry captured the San Juan Capistrano. Through the stretch, John Henry holding on to that lead by two. Fiestero second, here comes Look Fast on the rail, but it's John Henry holding on to the lead. John Henry in front. Daryl McClark aboard John Henry wins the San Juan Capistrano. Hall of Fame trainer Charlie Whittingham won the San Juan a record 14 times. The Bald Eagle even took five consecutive runnings from 1983 to 1987. And congratulations as Aaron Zile wins this impressive mile and three quarters San Juan Capistrano. It's Lute the Cannons in front and winning the San Juan Capistrano. To win the San Juan Capistrano, Denise and McCarran in a thriller to Har getting up. A late run on the outside. Three of those were with Lafitte Pinkai Jr. aboard. Will Far or Rosedale? Rosedale has got up in the last stride under Lafitte Pinkai. Great communicator. Several Breeders' Cup champions have run well in the San Juan. 
great communicator, trained by Thad Ackle, won the 1988 San Juan. Win the San Juan under Ray Serville. Fraser's second, and now Cote Jean has let loose on the... Fraz won the Breeders' Cup turf in 1992, and then finished third in the 1993 San Juan, won by Cote Jean. Kodeshan subsequently won the 1993 Breeders' Cup turf over his home course for trainer Richard Mandela. Flag exterior still Eduardo Inda had won the San Juan as an assistant trainer to Ron McAnally in 1980, but not until 25 years later did he accomplish the feat on his own. TH Approval took the 2005 running under Rene Douglas and then came back to win it again in 2006 with Alex Solis in the end. TH Approval in full flight for the wire and it's TH Approval one off making a late run but TH Approval and Alex Solis have won the San Juan. No other race in America offers the challenges of the San Juan Capistrano, a race unique to Santa Anita Park. For inside information, I'm Carolyn Conley.